Hey guys, I'm going to show you a beautiful pan seared duck with a butternut squash risotto. Check it out. Let's start by roasting our butternut squash. It's that time of the year when these butternut squashes are going to be coming into season. And I absolutely love cooking with them. We're going to remove the top and the bottom and then scoop out those seeds. Place these on a sheet pan and give a light coating of olive oil. Then I'm going to season them up with salt and pepper. Bake them at 400 degrees until they're soft. Got our butternut squash out of the oven. It's nice and roasted. We'll go ahead and take it out the shell and smash it up. Now once this is roasted, you can go ahead and just scoop it out with a spoon and then give that a mash. First step you want to do in a risotto is get whatever stock you're going to be adding. Get it on the stove and get it nice and hot. This is going to help you while you're cooking that risotto so you're not cooling that rice down every time you add stock. I'm going to go ahead and saute a half of a finely diced onion and some olive oil. When those onions are soft, go ahead and add in your garlic. Now with a risotto, you want to use a boreal rice. I'm using one and a half cups. You want to go ahead and toast the rice up before you add any liquid. Now toasting the rice is going to help give you a rich nutty flavor. When your rice is nice and toasty, go ahead and add in some dry white wine. I love the flavor this gives, but if you don't want to use alcohol, just leave this out. Now once that wine is absorbed, you can slowly start adding in your stock. Now for a risotto, you want to add in liquid just a little bit at a time and you want to keep stirring. That's going to help to bring out all of the starches and make this nice and creamy. About halfway in, we could go ahead and add our butternut squash puree and then season it up with salt and pepper. And once the rice is soft, we could go ahead and remove it from the fire. A few pats of butter, some fresh thyme and oregano, we'll splash of heavy cream, fresh Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Now that we added all our finishers, we could just mix this well to combine, and we're left with this perfectly flowing risotto. I got these two beautiful duck breasts. You want to make sure they're really dry. We'll go ahead and score the skin. This is going to allow us to go ahead and render that fat down and get that skin ultra crispy. All right, we got our duck breasts. We're going to season them up with that Boudreaux's prime beef and chop seasoning and some of that Boudreaux's little bit better Creole. Then these premium seasonings is also going to help develop that nice crust that we're looking for. Now cooking duck breast, you want to start that out in a cool pan and that's going to allow time to let that fat render out. When that skin is crispy, we could flip them and add in a few knobs of butter. Add in some herbs and we could go ahead and baste it till it's done. Now you want to make sure you let this rest and then you could go ahead and slice it up thin. Now a perfectly cooked risotto, when you place it on the plate, it'll start to flow like lava. And that's how you know it's done correctly. Go ahead and top this up with your sliced duck breast. I like to garnish this up with some fresh grated Parmigiano Reggiano cheese and some rosemary. Boudreaux's Backyard, if you need this recipe, it'll be on my website. Man, if you never made a risotto before, y'all check this out.